Genius. Okay, genius. I don't know how to make these sound smart. Oh, what the heck is, Never mind. I take it back. This is a hygienic decontamination pod fit for a genius only and um, this is a bathtub <laughs> Hey y'all. I am back at it again with another The Sims 4, but every room is a different blank. I love these challenges. They are my favorite. Might be a Starbucks cup, but inside, H2O. So today was actually another one I got from the comment section. You guys have really good ideas, like really good ideas. I'm getting all of these ideas from you guys. You guys are smarter than me. <laughs> so today is The Sims 4, but every room is a different personality. And you might be thinking, how does that work? How does that relate to The Sims? I'll show you, honey, I'll show you. So here I have listed a bunch of traits from The Sims 4. We have active, cat lover, creative, romantic, art lover, silly, dog lover, dance machine, music lover, geek, bookworm, genius, and hot-headed. I didn't put all of the traits, but I put some that I think I could translate into decor. <laughs> some of these are easier than others, but we're just gonna have to go with the flow and see if I can figure out what works. So I have already built the outside of this house. I did it last night because I was Board, and I wanted to try something really out of my comfort zone, very modern, different than what I usually go for. So I built this. It's got a skylight. It's like a weird little tropical modern house. I don't know. Don't ask questions, just look at it. <laughs> and inside we have a living room, a bathroom, a kitchen and a dining space. And upstairs we have two bedrooms, a hallway bathroom and a big old fancy master bathroom. And voila, that is it. So I figured it was gonna be really hard to to try to like do the outside of the house with a personality. So I figured we'd just stick to the inside, you know, keep it casual. <laughs> so I didn't put any flooring or wallpaper in. This is, these objects are just here to kind of map out where everything was going, but we should just get started. I want to start right here on this simple, tiny bathroom. We'll start small, easy, work our way in there. So let's spin that wheel. A cat lover's bathroom? What? Okay, I think I can make this work. I don't think there's necessarily any like tiles or flooring that can go in here that represent cats. So I'm just gonna go with the normal tile. For wallpaper though, I'm pretty sure I can find something with cats. Let's just sort by cats and dogs. Are you kidding me? There's nothing? No, there's gotta be something to do with- Wait, this has a fish on it. Okay, a fish could work. There's something with cats on it. So far, I just found fish, which could work. We could make that work. Cats like fish. All right, I've looked through them all. It's it's gonna be fish. Now, I'm gonna sort it by cats and dogs and my first pet stuff just to get the extra stuff that should have came with cats and dogs. <laughs> Tea. And I mean, it needs to be a bathroom, so I'm gonna need a toilet and I'm gonna need a sink, but I'm trying to think of some other things I can put in there. Maybe a litter box could be handy. God, this door is gonna be too big, but it doesn't wanna be anywhere else. Would it be better on this side, maybe? <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze everything in. We might have to turn on move objects for this one. Imagine your neighbors see through your window and they just see your cat dropping off a fat dump right there. Beautiful. Oh, actually, cats and dogs does come with a toilet, which doesn't Huh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the room. Oh, I had a fear this would happen. Okay, hold on. I am just gonna put on move objects and I'm just gonna like squeeze these items in. They don't make a lot of sense, I realize, but it's just gonna have to work. It actually does come with a sink as well. So I'll just put that in, maybe right in the middle. Oh my God, there's a cat mirror, perfect. There are some little cat decals here. A cat can sit right above the cat litter box. It's kind of like it's being labeled. Kitty on here. <laughs> Why is that kind of cute? And one up here. Okay, there's not really much else I can really do in this bathroom. It is quite small. You know what though? We do have room for a calendar. Wait, do we have room for a calendar? Ooh, no, we don't. We don't have, well, that's not where it needed to go. <laughs> Ooh, are there any curtains that resemble? Wait, is that a cat? That might be a cat. I can kind of make that work if I do that. It kind of clips a little bit, but it works. Okay, that's a cat lover's bathroom. Beautiful. Now for the living room. Music lover. Oh my God, look, it's right on the line. A music lover's living room. Okay. I don't know what to do for wallpaper because it's all one room. I might just do like one like simple wallpaper and just call it a day. Same for flooring. So now that we have that taken care of, let's get rid of these. A music lover. What would a music lover want to put their butt on when they watch TV? This is going to be harder than I thought. 
Okay, well, let's think they're very expressive, right? Let's just assume that they're expressive. They like colors. This is not the house for them if that's the case, but I literally have never used this couch before, but they have this like red one and it looks pretty cool and I'm gonna use it. Now, is there a matching love seat? Oh my God, to my surprise, there is. I might even make this a different color. Kind of blends in with the grass behind it, but it's funky. No, maybe I should just keep it red. The wood colors are different. Like this one's black and this one's like a beige. Why would they do, you know what, forget it. You know what, it's not my problem. It's this music lover person's problem, okay? For an end table, I'm thinking of using these little briefcases and only because I think all their music equipment might be in there when they go play at shows using the old noggin right there. When I tell you there are not a lot of decorative items for music, I have yet to find a single one. You know what, this kind of looks like an award. Maybe they won for playing music. I'm gonna have to really use my imagination on this one. It is tough out here. Like I know there's music objects, but I was thinking maybe there might be like some decor that kind of looks like related to music, but no, I can't find nothing. Deadly squat. I don't know what I was expecting to find, but just something. All right, I'm done with that. I've just made my way Way over here to the music section. <laughs> Way easier. I'm gonna put a keyboard over here. Ooh, I mean, technically? What if instead of like a fireplace and like a TV and stuff, we just have a massive grand piano, you know? That's all I'm gonna say. A guitar over here, another guitar next to that. How about a microphone? You can get the whole band back together right here. The whole band. And over here, I am going to put this little like vinyl record player. It's so cute. Oh, it looks so nice over there. It's perfect. I'm gonna put some speakers right here. And you know what? Maybe I will put a TV, just like a really big one, you know, right in the middle of these speakers. I'm down. So instead of a coffee table, you just have a giant grand piano. It's really something. Woo! <laughs> now I know there are some music paintings. There's one right there. And I think there's another one I can use. Oh, it's literally a guy playing a piano. I'm gonna have to size that down, but there you go. And I think that's it. I think I'm done there. I could probably try to find a rug, but I don't, I can't make any promises. I could put this one down. It's big enough to cover all the bases. There we go, moving on. All right, kitchen, make it easy for me, please. A bookworm. All right, I'm definitely going with something more colorful here. I think I'm actually gonna go with this cabinet with the green countertop. Girl, I have never used it and I think now is the perfect time. It's weird, it's out there, whatever. I'm not a huge fan of the stove being up against a window, but what are you gonna do? It actually does look kind of interesting. I wouldn't say I like it. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It's much less bad than I thought it was going to look. I don't know why I thought bookworm book lover, whatever, would like this. But I'm not done yet, okay? Put a little trash can, put some little bar stools, and now I'm gonna make it look like a bookworm's place. I hope. That's the plan anyways. First book spotted. Here we go. There's the first one. Second one's right there. Oh, there's this new one. I like this one because it's like opened. I like the way that looks. It's very cute. Some more books right here. Ooh, some magazines. That's interesting. That's a little different. Okay, this is looking kind of cute. I do feel feel like with all the books that they would also have plants. <laughs> I just have that vibe. I'm just gonna plop one down. You're really running out of space to cook here. So I think I'm gonna stop. Not that I really expect anyone to use this house at all, but you know, whatever. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put down a bookshelf. I need a really skinny, skinny one. Oof. It does take up a lot of space though. Yeah, what about the one that hangs on the wall? That's good. Perfect. Oh, cute. Okay, I like it. Moving on. Now for the dining room. Oh, I already have an idea. Girl, there's gonna be candles everywhere. I'm already liking my idea. Okay, first I'm gonna get a rug so I can get a feel for what I'm gonna do here. Ooh, that's a beautiful romantic color. Love it, you love to see it. We need some romantic dining chairs. The hell do those look like? Maybe something like this? Eh, it could work, it's fine. We have a lot of candle options, which I love, but I'm thinking this one, because if you put any taller candles in the center, you can't see each other's faces when you're talking. And that's not very romantic. I might pull out the romantic garden stuff pack and just see what I can do here. <laughs> I mean, look at this fountain. Romantic. I can even make it pink. Oh my god, that's, that's really cute. Wow. Wait, I might move that over there because I put some curtains down. I'm trying to think, what else is romantic? More candles. Perfect. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. Let's, this is a giant fire hazard, but I'm gonna put some candles down there and I'm gonna put some candles down over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Candles everywhere, honey. I think it's pretty cute. I think that looks slightly romantic. I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, what do you, it's a dining room. I think for a dining room, that's pretty romantic. There's candles everywhere, honey. And the beautiful sound of running water. <laughs> All right, moving upstairs. I guess I'll do the hallway as its own thing. Let's just see what happens. Art lover, oh honey. This should be easy. We'll just start over here on these long walls and just start putting art everywhere. Look at that big piece of art right there, boom. And on the other side, boom, some more art right there. Art right there, the matching piece of art on the other side. Some of that, some of that, beautiful. And last but not least, the rug. Hopefully I can find one that looks like a piece of art. Oh my God, this could be it, there we go. <laughs> hmm. well, actually, let me look at that one more time. What the heck? Okay, I don't know if that looks like a piece of art or not, but it looks really cool. It's like bowls of ramen. I love it. That's what I think it is. What is it supposed to be? I don't know, but it's making me hungry. Anyways, moving on. Hallway bathroom number one. We haven't gotten any repeats so far. This is going well. Just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Creative. Okay, for a bathroom? <laughs> you wanna talk about getting creative in a bathroom? I don't know if you do. <laughs> All right, well, let's start with the tiles. We gotta be creative. Oh God, we've gotta think creative. Oh, that one's better. Okay, I like that. I don't know if that matches exactly, but it, I'm trying to be creative. A creative toilet. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. That's got dripping drips on it, which is the last thing I'd ever wanna see on my toilet, but I will use it. <sighs> I have no choice. A creative sink, a creative sink. This one does have a peacock on it. I would say that that falls under creative, personally. <gasps> I hate that. I didn't know that existed. I kind of wish I never saw it, but my God, does it go with the theme. Oh, this peacock is just not even, it's not even doing any justice anymore. Actually, you know what? No. I like the peacock. You can come back. I respect you. All right, for a mirror to be creative. I, I feel like this does the job. It's just really obnoxious. Why is it so big? It'll work. This room's making me feel nauseous. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. All right, I'd like a creative bathtub, please. This one does have wings. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. There you go. Weird. There's a little bath mat for you to crawl off. Crawl off? For you to get out of the bathtub with. What the heck was I trying to say? A lot of these paintings are just too big for the little amount of space we have in this room. Like, I'm gonna have to really tone that bottle of wine down. It's not really creative, but it's something. I just gotta find something that fits. <laughs> oh, oh, this could have gone in here too. I, didn't, I forgot this painting existed. Yikes. All right, I am done with that bathroom. I don't wanna look at it anymore. So this is the like second bedroom. The master bedroom is over there. What's it gonna be? Mm, geek. Ooh. Ooh, okay, this could be fun. In a bedroom, we have a lot of options. I'm not sure if there's any bed that really resembles geek, but this one has this pattern that kind of reminds me of like 8-bit style games. I'm gonna go with that. Just go with it, just go with it. Okay, I know geek in this game really refers to more of like video games, but I'm gonna put this as the end tables because they've got like a bunch of books in them. It kind of goes with the theme, not really, but like a little bit. But there is this robot lamp that I can use, which is perfect. I just realized I'm gonna delete this for the art lover's room because there's literally a painting with like paint on it. So I'm gonna use that instead. Don't even ask me how they mounted the TV on the window. I, you know what, actually, <laughs> maybe it would make more sense if I moved it over here. There we go. I'm putting a bunch of consoles down. I wanna get some like gaming chairs. I don't even know if we have those. I was thinking like beanbag chair in a way. We don't necessarily have those. So I might just use something like this. This kind of looks like it could be a beanbag chair. They also definitely need a desk. That desk is so weird, but it'll work. The super pooper scooper computer. And I actually think there is like a gaming chair, like the like this one. There is, it's right here. <laughs> I wanted to try to fit that giant like gaming thing that The Sims has in here, but it's just so giant that I can't fit it in here. I will add a tablet though, just for funsies. Yeah, there's like this thing. It's ginormous. I can't fit it in here. All of these gaming rigs. Ooh, a galaxy light show. That's perfect. There you go. I do need some stuff on the wall. I don't know what to put on the wall. Ooh, how about a flag? 
That's good. Is there like a gaming one? There should be. Hold on. There it is. Beautiful. I'll put some neon lights in here. We all like neon lights. I literally have one. Oh, wait. You know what? Maybe we'll do these instead. These make more sense. Oh, wait, wait. A cash one. <laughs> oh, this is so nerdy. Some swords. Look, even more swords. Oh, this is awesome. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> oh, the pride and joy. All right, I think I'm done with that room. It's pretty geeky. Moving on to the master bedroom. Dance machine. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave some room for a dance floor in here. What's the smallest dance floor? That one, is that really the smallest one? That truly is the smallest one. I don't know if I'll be putting a dance floor in there. <sighs> I want to, but they're just so large. They look so out of place as well. So let me put down a bed. It doesn't really matter. I don't think there's really a way that, to say, I love to dance with your bed. I'll just get like a nice cute yellow bed. Something funky like this. And then on the end tables, instead of lamps, what I'm gonna do instead might shock you. I am going to put little stereos. I'm gonna put an amp over here just to make the music even louder. And over here to make it even louder. I wonder if there's like a dance dancing club. There's this one. There's also this one. I'm gonna do this one. I think this one makes more sense. I'm not really sure what else to do here. I thought it would be easier, but I just don't know about that. Is there like a disco ball or something that I can put in here? Because that would be perfect. Oh, laser lights. That is where I'm at. Let's put some of those in there. Beautiful. This is actually a door, by the way, that goes to the outside. So I can't really put anything in front of it, but I think I got the point across as much as I could. This one was kind of tough. I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier than it was. And this is all the memories they have with their friends when they go out dancing. Even though the people in these pictures are definitely children, let's pretend that they're adults. Moving on. So this is the master bathroom. I want it to be very fancy. So let's see what we get. Genius. Okay. Genius. <laughs> That's Hmm. Okay, let's put down a toilet. A toilet for a genius. Mm. How about one of these fancy toilets that like talk to you? Maybe it's their invention. Oh, I like that. A sink for geniuses. This sink is floating, so I'm just gonna assume that that means they're very smart. I'm gonna give them a medicine cabinet because I believe they keep all of their secrets hidden inside. Now, I don't know what to do for the bathtub and the shower. I I'm just gonna give them a bathtub and a shower. I don't know how to make these sound smart. Oh, what the heck is... Never mind, I take it back. This is a hygienic decontamination pod, fit for a genius only. And um, this is a bathtub. <laughs> That's it. All right, so I imagine in here there would be all sorts of documents and pictures of things that they have studied and or achieved. They know what the inside of a dog looks like, the inside of a cat. They're geniuses. Here's their diploma number one, diploma number two, a big sciencey thing to look at themselves in the shower. I don't know. I don't know what they do. I don't know what geniuses get to do when they're not too busy being a genius. I'll give them the yin and yang circular rug. I don't know why. I'm running out of ideas. That's why. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the middle and I'm gonna give them two of these fancy degrees because I mean he didn't say he was just like Smart. He's a genius. And there you go. He's got the documents to prove it. All right. I think I'm done. That was the weirdest collection of items I have ever used. It was so weird. But voila, it has a lot of personality. And I guess in the end, that's that's what we were going for. But that is going to be all for today. If you guys have any more ideas for Sims 4, but every room is a different blank challenges, leave them in the comments down below. I get a lot of these ideas from you guys. So keep them coming. I love not having to think. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.